A low bio burn facility is a facility that is neither a fully sterile or non-sterile facility, but incorporates aspects of both. Often, the manufacturing processes conducted in these facilities include steps that require aseptic processing and higher levels of area classification and environmental control associated with it. But they also include some steps that are conducted in areas of much lower classification and lower levels of environmental control. The product is usually not sterile, but the allowable bio burden level is much lower than that of a traditional non-sterile product. My experience with using contamination recovery rates for trending at a previous employer showed that the rationale presented in USP Chapter 1116 could also be effectively applied to areas other than the clean room environment, which provides a number of distinct advantages over the traditional method. Specifically, the contamination recovery rate better evaluated the microbial state of the facility as it actually existed. This is because it took into consideration the number of recoveries obtained across the sum total of samples collected as opposed to the number of times an individual sample exceeded a particular number of colony forming units. With contamination recovery rates, many aspects of the microbial environment that were not visible when trending by excursion became highly visible. This allowed for proactive mitigation of these parameters, which increased the overall level of microbial control across the facility, identified new areas for improvement, and reduced the level of risk to the process, to the product, and ultimately to the patient. Contamination rates effect effectively show fluctuations in the overall microbial levels across the facility. When used for trending purposes, especially in conjunction with the traditional system, of alert and action limits, contamination rates can indicate the need for remedial or mitigative actions. So a company can react much sooner, often before any alert or action levels are exceeded, resulting in fewer excursion investigations. Similarly, because contamination rates can be compared across individual areas, such as processing rooms, it is also easier to determine exactly where and how remedial activities such as sanitization should be applied. As a result, remedial activities can be more effectively tailored to the specific event and applied only when and where required. In general, regulators are very open and supportive of the use of contamination rates in the Environmental Monitoring Trending Program. The enhanced ability to monitor and control the microbial levels throughout the facility, thus reducing risk, was clearly visible in the trending reports. The individual contamination rates themselves also provided a much clearer picture of how well the general facility contamination control strategy was working. When this program was initially implemented in 2010 and 2011, FDA inspectors commented that the firm, in their word, was ahead of the curve. 